What's up everybody, Ben with the BTC Sessions here. Would you like to learn how to use the Bitcoin Lightning Network in a few short minutes? If you'd like to take advantage of super low fees and instant transactions, then please stick around to the end of the video. So today I'm going to be checking out Wallet of Satoshi. Now this is a mobile lightning wallet available for iOS and Android, though at the time of recording this video it is still in beta. Also, one thing to note, this is a custodial service, so stay tuned at the end of the video to find out what that means for you as a user. And finally, before we jump into the video, please do head over to my website, btcsessions.ca, where you can book me for a private education session on the topic of your choice. Without further ado, here is the Wallet of Satoshi. All right, so I have already downloaded and installed Wallet of Satoshi, but just so you know, it is very, very easy. Literally download the app, you input your email address, and they will send you two login words to get you started. That's it. Uh, once you input those, you're good to go. Now, how secure is that? That's questionable, but we will get into that after the video, so stick around. Let's take a look at the interface. So right here on the main screen, we have my number of Satoshis, the amount of Bitcoin underlined by the amount of fiat that it equates to. Um, you can also see if I swipe up, there's a history of transactions. I've been obviously playing around with this, so there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, up in the top right, you can see um, a a button that opens up your menu with your settings. You can paste an address. You have your fiat value that you can change. Bitcoins or Satoshis, invite a friend, contact support, and your email address down below. Now, if I close out of that, in the top left, you can see your top up button. Now, when I hit this, there are two ways to top up your wallet. One is to top up with Bitcoin. There's a limited amount that you can send because this is still in beta. If I hit show, there's a QR code that I can scan or I can tap to copy the address to the clipboard and I can close out of that. Now, you can also get receive regular lightning payments. So if I hit show, Again, it's going to show a QR code that is scannable. I can tap to copy the address or I can create an invoice, which may be necessary with certain other wallet softwares. So here I can type in the number of Satoshis I want. It tells me the fiat value underneath. And if I just hit generate an invoice, it'll create a new one for me. Now, if we back out of this last thing to look at down below, you can see scan to pay. And of course, that's going to open up your camera so you can scan other invoices and send lightning payments. So we're going to start by topping this up with regular Bitcoin. Uh, so I'm going to copy the address. I'm going to open up my Samurai wallet. Now, I have done a video on the Samurai wallet before, so please excuse my lack of explanation here, but essentially I'm just pasting in the address that I want to send Bitcoin to. Um, I'm going to send over mm, about, I guess, 500,000 Satoshis, which I believe is about 20... 20 bucks or somewhere between 20 and 30 bucks at the moment. Um, and I'm just going to send that off and it will head over to my wallet of Satoshi. Now, I will have to wait for a confirmation on the Bitcoin blockchain before that money is available to me. Uh, but what Wallet of Satoshi does is it automatically converts that into lightning funds that can then be sent around. Please note, this is a one-way deal and I will get into the details on that at the end of the video, but we'll wait for this to confirm. A few moments later. All right, now that I have a confirmation, I can see that my funds have been topped up here. Uh, there is about 499,251 Satoshis sitting there. Now, uh, so that was successful. We're also going to try topping up with a regular lightning payment. So I'm going to top it up. I'm going to create an invoice for 1,000 Satoshis, which is about five cents. OK, then I'm going to hit generate new invoice and that creates a new QR code, a new address down below. I'm going to tap and copy that 
And then I'm going to close out and I'm going to navigate back to a wallet that I also have sitting here called Blue Wallet. Now, I will be doing a video on this in the future, so ex uh, excuse the brevity as I go through this and don't explain too much about the wallet, uh, but I'm basically going to go over to my Lightning wallet, I'm going to hit send, and I'm going to paste in that invoice that I just copied. Once I hit pay, that should send off the payment pretty quickly here. There we go. And I will navigate back to Wallet of Satoshi, and that's how quick it is. Uh, those funds are now in the wallet. They are spendable immediately. So that's kind of the magic of this system. It's there. It's ready to go. We're going to try sending back to Blue Wallet now. So I'm going to hit receive. Uh, I'm going to do the 1000 Satoshis back. And let's just call this thank you. You do need to have a, a description for it. So when I hit create, just like in Wallet of Satoshi, it's going to create an invoice for me. So QR code and, and clickable link down below. When I navigate back, Wallet of Satoshi knows that I have something in the clipboard and it automatically checks and constructs a transaction for me. So I didn't even need to paste in. And when I hit pay, that's going to send off right away to Blue Wallet. And let's just go back and check if it came through. And right away, it's there and spendable. I don't have to wait around. I can just make my payment and go. So that's really the magic of Lightning. Um, it's a very apt description. It is peer-to-peer -peer cash. This is fantastic. And it's, and it's fun to see how it works. All right, so it is time for my thoughts. I hope you stuck around because while this is a wonderful, fun thing to play around with, there are other things to consider. So first of all, this is, as I said, a custodial wallet. That means when you send Bitcoin or if you send a lightning payment to Wallet of Satoshi, you are trusting that entity to hold your funds for you and that they will indeed allow you to send them out or spend them later. Now, is there any evidence that Wallet of Satoshi is going to run away with your money? No, but I would still only recommend using small amounts here just to play around and see how quick the Lightning Network is. Now, let's take a look at fees. So the thing about Lightning Network is the fees are supposed to be very, very low, and they are. Um, we'll get into that in a second. But when you send regular Bitcoin to Wallet of Satoshi, they charge a fee to convert it to Lightning spendable funds. So this fee is pretty small. I'd say it is less than 1%. It is 0.15% at the time of recording this video. So when you send Bitcoin to Wallet of Satoshi, they essentially spin up, uh, they have their lightning node running, they have open channels, and they basically allow you to access their liquidity and send through their lightning channels. And for that service, they charge a one-time fee as you convert to using their Lightning Network node. Now, um, when you are actually sending Lightning Network payments, the fee on those is laughable, and that's just almost like a regular Bitcoin transaction fee. And this is where Lightning Network really shines because I haven't paid any more than one Satoshi to send a Lightning Network payment, and that is a minuscule fraction of a penny. So essentially, once you have funds in the wallet, it more or less costs nothing to send payments. Now let's talk a little bit about security. Again, custodial, so there's that to consider. But also, what about the way that the wallet is set up? I'm not convinced it's super secure because literally I put in an email address and then they emailed me two words and I had to put those two words in order to log on to the wallet. And that was it. It makes me wonder, and I don't know the, the answer to this question, but could somebody just go on another wallet, put in my email address, and if they somehow got access to my email, could they just log in and, and remove the funds? I don't know, good questions to ask. Another reason not to put too much money in a wallet like this that is custodial. And again, I'm not trying to pick on Wallet of Satoshi. I have the same opinion of really any custodian, whether it be an online exchange or a wallet like this. Um, there is one other thing to note, and 
That is when you send a regular Bitcoin transaction to Wallet of Satoshi, this is a one way deal. As in when it gets converted to lightning spendable funds, they do not allow you to offboard back into a regular Bitcoin transaction, at least not at the time of filming this video. That could change in the future. In fact, I hope it does because that would be, you know, super convenient. Uh, but at the moment, that is not a function of this wallet. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you spend five bucks into Wallet of Satoshi, that's gonna remain as lightning funds unless you have an off ramp where you can do that. And uh, the blue wallet that you saw as I was using it, that is a wallet that can do that. And I believe also there are some others out there. Also, I did a video on the CASA node, which is a Bitcoin Lightning Network node that you have at home. In fact, it's sitting behind me right now, purring away. And I can also send money to my CASA node and convert that back into a regular Bitcoin payment and close a channel. So there are ways to do it but just be aware you will not be doing it through Wallet of Satoshi at the moment. So those are my thoughts on the Wallet of Satoshi. I'm just very happy that people will now get to firsthand at least see the speed and low fees of Lightning Network, even though right now we are seeing a lot of custodial wallets pop up. That's just a symptom of the fact that Lightning Network itself is still in beta and a lot of these features are enabled through third-party services right now, but will be able to be run much more easily by an individual without too much technical knowledge in the future. Play around, learn, and watch as the space grows because it's always interesting to see what's happening. And I'm very excited to see Lightning Network solutions coming to market. Even if they are custodial, I think we will gradually shift and people will have a lot of options in the near future. So what did you think of the wallet of Satoshi? Is this something you're gonna use? Do you have concerns? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and please do check out my website, btcsessions.ca, where you can book me for your own education session. I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.